I've spoken to you before about some of the annoying practices of journalistic writing, of, of non-idiomatic English that newspaper writers, for inexplicable reasons, favor. There are also ticks in the language. There's language that journalists use that civilians, ordinary people, don't use, wouldn't think of using. For example, when you say that someone you talked to said something, do you ever say that that person noted? According to journalists, people are noting all the damn time when they talk. When you have a list of things, do you ever call it a litany? Of course, it's not always a litany. Sometimes it's a laundry list. Do you write laundry lists? Does anybody write laundry lists? When you condemn, when you criticize, when you find fault, do you ever decry? Hmm? When you think something is forbidden, prohibited, do you ever say that someone is barring it? The, you know, many of these words are favored because they're short words and handy for newspaper headlines, which is why you get classics of the genre like Minneapolis bars putting leaves in street, which does not mean they're sweeping out leaves with the peanut shells at saloons. It means that the city is forbidding putting leaves in the street, right? When you choose someone to do a task, do you tap that person? Or vulgar adaptation of fraternity lingo. When someone is killed, do you say that that person is slain? Do you see much slaying going on? When you schedule something, when you put it on your calendar, do you ever slate it? And when you are troubled, or afflicted. Are you ever plagued? If not, you're probably not a journalist. <laughs>